Welcome back to the Keto Family. My name is Sherry. I'm Keto on a Budget. I do all things Keto and all things Budget. And I am back to Instacart. I am prepared with my... This is Thieves Cleaner from Young Living. It is a fantastic disinfectant. I made it myself. And it works great. Um, I also have... My Clorox wipes. I have... In my pocket... Not in my pocket, in my other pocket, I can't reach. Um, hand sanitizer, so I am good to go. I am on my second shop right now, just drop out my first one. There were a lot, 18 substitutions out of her order. And as she, the client, the customer told me, I was, I told her again, I'm so sorry about all the substitutions. She's, I was blessed with a customer who says, we're just grateful to get what we can get right now, so. And she also left me a fantastic tip at the door. Um, it's one of those drop it at the door deliveries. I'm on my way to my second one. Immediately a second one popped up. This is a pretty high dollar one too, so I'm praying that this is gonna work out, but this is a double batch. So I'll be delivering two, two customers. And I am already at this next shop, so I should be able to get this done. It's not a whole lot of items. Hopefully they'll have everything in stock. So I'm praying, and but this is going to be my day, and I needed to get back out there. I was kind of going nuts in the house, and as long as I take precautions, I should be fine. And keep keto, and keep healthy, stay hydrated, take my vitamins, which I did. So, it's all going to be good. It's just the day I chose to go back to Instacart is the day that it decides to rain all day long. I will check back with you guys later. All in all, it wasn't a bad day. I did have a lot of substitutions, but I was blessed today to have some amazing customers who understood and told me that they were just grateful to get what they could. So, the weird one. One weird one. I mean, it was funny. I was getting ready to come home. I stopped at Walmart to pick up a few little items. Um, there again on the floor. Picked up some hot dog buns for the guys. I picked up some bread for my son and picked up some macadamia nuts because I wanted some macadamia nuts. And I'm, I'm going to try to follow Thomas DeLauer's isolation plan as much as possible. So, because a friend of mine's doing it, she's close by, and I think she can talk me off the ledge if I feel like eating something I shouldn't. But um, at any rate, the funny thing is, this lady ordered one item. And it, it was a special item, so there wasn't like a barcode or anything like in there for it. It's something that she, I guess she just put in Target and ordered the light, it was lighting, and then in the note she put lamps. So, and it was a double batch, so I had two orders. This one was the only one she wanted, only thing she wanted, the other one wanted like seven items. So, I knew it was going to be a quick, fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to think it's going to be a quick and easy shot. So, I texted her as soon as I got there, and I got the order clicked to order, uh, I mean clicked to shop, and then looked at the orders to see what was in there, because you just get a glimpse of what they order, and, and since there was no icon for that one, I didn't know what it was, so, but as soon as I got to the store, I texted her and I said, did you have any specific lamps in mind? I need more details. So I went and found, so while I was waiting on her to get back with me, I went ahead and shopped the rest of the items and got the other ladies all of her stuff. She did order five times, uh, five gallons of distilled water, but they only allowed two, but she put in a note, she said, or how many ever they let you have. She's like, and when I talked to her, she's like, I, I knew there were going to be limits, but I didn't know what the limits were, so. She's hoping for five, grateful for two. And by the time I got done with that, I hadn't heard back from this first customer. So I texted her, I'm like, I need more details. Nothing back. I was waiting, and my phone was going dead. I had like 6% battery left, and I don't have a whole lot now. Then I've got it on my charger. So then I called her, and she didn't answer, so I left a message. And I'm like, okay. I'm just left in the message, hey, you know, if I don't hear back from you, I'm just, just going to grab a lamp, a lamp, and I'll be over shortly. So, I grabbed a lamp, and it was, I mean, it's like a $20, $20 lamp. It was cute. I mean, it's something I would put in my house, so I liked it. It's something I would have bought. 
I'm not going to buy stuff that I personally wouldn't use. But if, it's, if I think it's ugly, I ain't getting it. And I have no idea what her budget was. I mean, how much her max out was on that. So I didn't know if she wanted a $30, $40 lamp or a $20 lamp. I actually think this one was $15.99. Yeah, it was. It was $15.99. Anyway, I get to her house and she doesn't answer her door. So I go through the steps of contacting the customer. And they text her and then reached out via phone. And then it calls me back. And it's her on the phone. I'm like, is this so-and-so? She's like, she's like, hey, so I said, I'm Sherry, you're Instacart shopper. And she's like, Instacart shopper? And I said, yeah, you ordered something from Target. And it was lighting and you put in the notes lamps. And I, I didn't hear back from you, so I just grabbed a lamp. She's like, I ordered a lamp? It's like, yeah. She's like, you're kidding me. And I'm like, no, I'm really not. She's like, tell them, come on, really? I didn't know I ordered anything. And I'm like, um, did you not order this? Because I could refund it and just, I ended up keeping the lamp. And I put it on my desk, you know? Anyway, I said, um, if, she's like, okay, but I need to give you a tip. I, I need to come up, I'll be right there in a few minutes, I'll give you a tip. Well, I had the second order stuff to go deliver, and I'm like, I can just leave it here. I said, you can tip in the app. They'll send you a, a link, an email with a link to it, so you can go in the app and, and put in the tip if you if you didn't already. I said, I think you already did it. She's like, okay, are you sure I can do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'm absolutely sure you can do that. I said, I'm going to leave the lamp on this little chair outside your door. It was covered, so I wasn't worried about rain getting to it. And then I went to do my other shop. I think, like, who knew, okay? She, I don't know if she ordered a lamp or not, but I'm sure she's going to go find out. <laughs> And in the meantime, she's got to keep my lamp. I'm on my way home now. My phone is almost dead. My legs are hurting. So, but it, all in all, it was a good day. I mean, I was kind of dreading getting back out there. But for the most part, I haven't had any contact with the customers. They all want me, um, I think one of them opened the door and took the bags from me. And, um... <laughs> The other one, I thought I heard it through the door. Just go ahead and leave it on the porch. And then I'm like, okay, have a great day. And I sat down there, and I got it like three steps away, and she opened the door. She's like, oh, my gosh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm like, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> no big deal. Not a problem. So, I mean, I was blessed to have really, really good customers today and no hateful ones. I have only dealt with that maybe a couple of times before, but I hear a lot of my friends in this area did meet up with another guy who also does Instacart and he's asking me how long I did it and I'm like I told him about nine months or so and he's like I've been doing this for four years and I'm like okay my name's Sherry and he said my name is such and such I'm like oh it's really nice to meet you I'll see you on the on Facebook this week Facebook um, group so anyway that's all I got for now I'm gonna head home I've made some taco soup last night for tonight's dinner and I will go home and heat that up and have some taco soup and I'm probably going to hit the hay early so I'll probably do one more update right after dinner and then I'm going to go to bed early because I went to bed late last night and I got up early this morning and I knew that was going to happen so I knew I'd be tired and hitting the hay early today but oh yeah lunch today I did have I had three and as you can see it's empty now uh, three of the boar's head Hot, uh, beef hot dog patties. I had, I did, I did have one of these keto brownies. I was hungry. It was in my purse. One of the meat stick in my... Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to have that in a minute. I have a chance meat stick. It's cold though. So I had, I was packing my thing. I had one of these res drinks. I've had a Zip Fizz. I've had my coffee. And I am working on a Diet Dr. Pepper with cream soda right now. And what else did I have? Oh, I had a thing of cheese. Um, little Sargento cheese cubes with Gouda and cheddar. So it was really good. Anyway, I'm going to think I'm going to eat this meat stick to tide me over until I get dinner done. And I will see you guys later. i got to prep my meal for my lunch for tomorrow. Because so, I'm going to do this again tomorrow. Oh, no. Totally we did. Okay guys, so this is going to be a two day video because my phone cut out on me yesterday and I didn't get, I was too tired to record last night. I made the taco soup, um, heated that up for dinner and it was absolutely amazing and then I watched NCIS with Hubby, it's our date night Tuesday night, we always watch NCIS together, um, it's our show 
and then I exercised the dog and went to bed. <laughs> I was tired. Um, still kind of tired today. According to my Fitbit, I got like six hours and 51 minutes of sleep last night, but I'm still feeling, my eyes are feeling kind of tired. But yesterday was super busy. I had four shops, three of them being double shops. So a total of seven deliveries yesterday. I just finished my second delivery this morning. It is almost 10 o'clock and I am on my way to do another double shop at Aldi. So hopefully they will have everything. Um, for the most part, the customers have been absolutely amazing in, um, not the store is not having everything i think they're expecting it now um the only issue is sometimes we get first-time customers who are assuming that everything is there because they ordered it so if it's if it's on the order it's got to be there right but i have not run into that issue but some of my other friends on um that do instacart also have run into that situation so i've got my zip fizz here mm. and i remember my power bank so Greg for those. So, that's pretty much it. I haven't had any breakfast. I did have my coffee. You had me at bacon. I had my coffee this morning with, this time I used Thomas's, uh, I used some MCT powder. I used a tablespoon of ghee and I have some collagen powder and the, the super, um, the super creamer, the Kaiju super creamer. I have fit, discovered something. When I use heavy whipping cream in my coffee, and this could be a dairy issue, but when I use heavy whipping cream in my coffee afterwards, I feel kind of lethargic and just kind of bleh. But when I use the Kaiju creamer or any non-dairy creamer, I don't feel that way. So we'll do some experimentation and see if I have a dairy intolerance that might be affecting me. But anyway, right now I'm at Ollie's. So I'm gonna go in and do this double shop and deliver it and I will check back with you guys later. Hey guys, just finished that Aldi delivery. I am about to chomp down on some chomps. I already had one. This one is the sea salt and the one I just had is Italian flavor. So, I'm hungry. I've also got some moon cheese in there. So, I'm going to chow down on the meat sticks to see if they will um, fill me up. And finish my zip fizz. I'm going to take the food into the store with me because I end up, always end up having to go to the bathroom. And I hate going to the bathroom in the store. So, anyway, I'll check back with you guys later. Yep, still in the car. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. <sighs> I've had the chomp sticks. I have had some moon cheese. I'm eating some more moon cheese now. I've had, um, just a little bit ago, I had a perfect keto bar. The cinnamon roll, which is one of my favorites. Actually, I think it is my favorite. That one and the salted caramel. Um, I'm on my way to do shop number five, six today. Shop number six, because I've done, before this morning, I've done one already, and then shop number six, so it's a good busy day. I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner tonight. No clue. Oh, yes I do. Oh, I forgot. We have meatballs. I've got some meatballs in the freezer. So I'm going to throw them in the oven with some marinara sauce. And we're having meatballs. Got some cheese on top. Yeah. Looking forward to that. And I'm probably going to put my feet up. I have some computer work to do when I get home. I'm going to try to get one more shop in after this one. The one I'm heading to is Aldi. It's just like a two-item shop. So, and my son is just texting me. He wants some hot dog buns. So, I got him some hot dogs. So, I'm picking up some hot dogs while I'm at Aldi. I'm just doing two separate transactions. I'll do one for the, uh, what you call it, the customer. And one for me. I do that all the time. As, as I walk by, sometimes I find things that I need. And like, I uh, came to Publix yesterday and I got one of those um, Dunkin' Donuts cinnamon roll coffee um, pods, the uh, K-cup things. The only place I can find that around here is at, uh, at 
Publix. But I got, honestly got to check the, I had, need to check the price online so that I can, um, if it's cheaper because it's kind of expensive at Publix. I wish that Kroger's and Walmart would start carrying that, but they don't. At least not yet. We shall see. Anyway, I'm almost there, so I'm going to do my next shop. Phew. I am done for the day. I've done seven batches. Could have done eight, but I was being a little bit picky. Um, I could do more, but I need to go home. My legs hurt. I need to rest and get ready and go do this again tomorrow. I have done very well. And most of my customers are tipping pretty well. Um, there I go, saying that word again. That ain't a word. I'm headed home. I'm going to throw the meatballs in the oven. Put some marinara sauce on them and throw them in the oven and heat them up and sit down and just put my feet up for a while. I have some computer work I have to get done. Um, I still need to upload my video from the other day before I was even going back to Instacart. So I'm going to try to get that uploaded tonight and then this one will probably go up. Hopefully we'll go up tomorrow. So, it just depends. Um, I know it's going to be another early bedtime for me again tonight. So, I'll try to close this out later after dinner. But, <laughs> what one of my customers gave me. She, <laughs> she had a treat box. And I'll give, this, I'll give this to my son. Or my husband, either one. There's a lot of carbs in there in that little package. Um, she didn't have a whole lot to choose from. And I know that they like cheese it So, I will give the guys that. So, oh, I'm tired. Yeah, it's been a long day, but it's been a busy day, and it's been a pretty good day. A pretty good keto day. I've had some snacks, but all in all, it's been a pretty good day, and I'm not hungry at all right now. I did chug, uh, chug down a bang at my Cola, finish this off. So I've gotten plenty of fluids today. I think I have, um, yeah, I, I went to Aldi's, picked up them. Like I said, I was going to do earlier. I did not put one of those cans in there. Okay. Um, anyway, I got some hot dog buns for my son that he wanted. Also got the guys some everything but the bagels. Everything seasoned bagels. And I did, they did have some more of the... Aldi brand Zevia, and they had the cola flavor this time, so I grabbed that because I do like the Zevia cola flavor. So I'm looking forward to trying that, and that's in the back seat, which is a disaster right now because I've got books and movies back there that I'm going to donate and go to our local bookstore and try to sell them, but everything's closed because we're in a about that no more. Anyway, we'll sneeze here in a minute too. Into the elbow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's all I got right now. Uh, nothing much going on, just heading home. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next clip. I'm going to finish off the vlog that I didn't finish yesterday because I was tired and but we had dinner last night. We had the meatballs with the marinara sauce and what you call it? Mozzarella cheese. And I made some shuffles on the side some every, with everything with the bagel seasoning in it. And it was absolutely delicious. And then I watched some Rag Thor Ragnarok with my son. Did some computer work and then I went to bed pretty early. So today I'm up and ready to go and we'll see what the day unfolds. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.